In addition to being able to power through this, uh, this slop out here right now, the A6 that I'm driving has another cool trick up its sleeve. It's a diesel, and that means when I got into the car, uh, when it had a full tank of diesel, it told me I had a 550 mile range. 550 miles on the highway, I got 32 miles a gallon. The diesel itself uh, is actually nothing like the old clattery ones that used to you know, we had in the 70s and the 80s. I can feel a little bit more vibration than I'd feel in a gas A6. Uh, it's a little bit louder. There's a slight hum. I don't know if you can hear it. It's sort of a low thrum. Uh, that's basically it. About the only thing that the car doesn't have is ground clearance. And that's what happens if you're, say you're in the, you know, New Hampshire or somewhere and it snowed, you know, 16 inches. You know, you're gonna have to shovel or wait for the plows to come up because the car is gonna get hung up. That's the reason why you'd want to drive an SUV. Otherwise, this car, a little under $70,000, fully equipped. I have uh, navigation with a 3G connection. It has a Google Earth connection. Uh, it has apps. The only issue is that newer cars are going to come out with a 4G connection. It's going to be through AT&T instead of T-Mobile. Uh, you're going to have even more apps. You're going to have a more streamlined user interface. It's going to get even better. So if you're not ready to buy now, don't worry because the cars that are coming out are going to be better than what's out now. And what I'm driving right now is pretty good. Audi set the benchmark pretty high.